Investigator Online TV. Like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to a scholar's view into the Ham Enterprises and Diamond Trust Bank Supreme Court Verdict Edition. Featuring a law scholar, the one and only for the first time on set, Mr. Jekin Daula. Jekin Daula. Bogakwa Yogatia. Joel Kenneth Daula. Nay, Nafunza. Wanga for you know, those media, social media usernames. Mm. It's much simpler. So I go by Jack and mm. mm. It's much simpler for <laughs> social media. <laughs> and Mr. Daniels, the Prince of Journalism. You're welcome, our dear viewers, to this uh, inside Law Scholars Edition. Yeah. Thank you. Yours truly, <coughs> Jacob David Dua. Look at 24-7 like an AK-47. Olunaku Regulo, Supreme Court ya Uganda, Mumusango, Ogwa Ham Enterprises, and Kiggs International Limited, Ngabali ne Diamond Trust Bank Uganda, ne Kenya. Yes, Gwa Salid Dua, Obama Muzungu, Oruaba Skola, Oruaba Gamba, Verdict. Era mwe yo verdict ne chitegeza ba mtino e yo transaction oba engeri je ba sente wazee ba we ba ham oba ham enterprises ziri mubuti ziri mubutufu yes kati muami kene fendaula for uh, the last couple of years, two of the ham enterprises, back in the Mukoti, we also get at the, the commercial court judge, Henry Peter Adonio, mm -hmm. ruled in the favor of uh, mm -hmm. Chikundu. Katugenzo Kulaba, Atibo Yatu Seri, Evin Tunelichuka. Mundo was a you, Wenga or Muntu Asoma, Eviama Teka. In Salao Yuguria Supreme Court, Etegezati. Even to get them into range, if you watch the actions, they are cool. Position you, moving to in the matter that it decided. Kuba kachwa ya kuba yo mtu wa business holo no mwana anko mo ya ya kula kavideo. The first time we were deciding, na gamba have VDTB the 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 what the ordinary person's perspective. Chavantu wa mte chijia bako ila nja ulo. Now, ekole nja ulo, most especially for banks. Kubanga banks zine ingeje zi transacting amu, na dala niba na wasajia wa nagaga, na wewe wala sente nyinje nyu. So, eno decision e ingida wo, okuleta wo some kind of stability. Ntikati, tuchimanyi inti ya mtu wabaya gala kukola certain transaction of this nature haba agenda jikola under this category. Na ye, chiba chizibu nyo kugamba inti kutegi ili sala o yayo nga tona soka kutegi ili luwachi ba soka ni basala o nga o basala o mbidi ya bidi. Kati, sala o yu mda mza donyo mbidi ya bidi uh, ya sinzi ila kumateka hmm? kuwa amateka habidi uwa tuja tuita statutes mwuri miru wafe tuja statutes ya koze sa financial institutions act hmm? na koze sa financial institutions agent banking regulations hmm. kati nga sinzi ila kumateka agu ya ya kome, ya kome kira gambi enti Transaction, yaliwa wakati wa DTB Kenya, DTB Uganda ni ham, mm. teyalimu, uh, teyalimu, yalimu umenyu wa mateka. Mm. Watch it again. Na yeka tuweazimu, of course, yaliko mkoto wa pili, natuna tuka mchi, mm. mkoto ya sukulumu. Mm. Watuka mkoto ya sukulumu, uh, saba la mzina gamba, ntia mateka gabidi. Uh, Muluzungo, uluwa ngutu gamba, those laws do not apply to the transaction. Nti, oh, that, that is actually the difference we in the mm. So, Luachi, Mumramze Asoka, a government to call FIA, 
tumanyo bid briefing but financial institutions act ne agent banking regulations ate court in sukulumu ne bichusa kati ya ogenda mu bintu bine bya chewawadi wali extra judicial considerations maybe just if you could think of solo to kutua because twagala ku kintu kino kuchiwa our viewers out there to the layman's language even to everybody who did not choose agent banking then uh, financial, financial institution if you got okay to we enjawulo yeruwa kati of course in enjawulo ngenda bawa ya ya court je asa zero kuba fe banna mateka bikira bali batusomesa kirase ya soko mwana ya gina na gamba i believe Inamga, we don't care what you believe. Mm. <laughs> what law are you basing on? Or since the who authority check. Mm. So, a <coughs> court. Yes, as well, nega. Of course, the Financial Institutions Act, a mm. governing chidi muri nyari acho financial institution. Kat a financial institution, muote kazi bank, muote kazi no zi zi tati as a credit microfinance. And all those other kinds of uh, things. Those are financial institutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agent banking. Nga koti waya kome kereza. Agent banking is... Ha. Kukenda kuda mluzungu. Agent banking kube ila... Nga kancho gede mluzungu. Muna hamanya. It's a kind of banking mm -hmm. that is done through... Uh, Tugambe proxy. Na ye... Omuntu... Gobo iti demu, mm. transacting a chewari kore demu bank, mm. right? Kacho ya veda agent. Mm. Wabula mateka ga agent banking, aina kuveda natural person. Kwa amateka ga tunurida person ze, chiina di meanings za nja mm. You have a natural person, you have a legal person. So, botuno ida katinga company, tugambe ga uh, harm enterprises. Mm -hmm. Ne ham chigundu. Mm. Habu bantu babidi banja ulo. Ham chigundu is a natural person. Natural person. Ham enterprises is a business entity. Person. It's a business entity mm. considered in law as a person. Mm. Chavola wabuwa sabula jitu wala mumbuga za mateka. Mm. Yo nga yo. Na totu tena ham. Totu tena ham. So, a natural person, only a natural person mm. can conduct agent banking. Mm. Watch that. So, Boyari mu o mulamzi ochitiwa o mulamzi ochitiwa adonyo boyari asalo musango go mu bidi abidi yagamba anti DTB Uganda bajironda nga agent mu transaction yabwe that is between DTB Kenya ne ham ham is chigundu na ye ogumto kulonde wa agent for agent banking. Obo ino kusoka no wali wobu kwa kulizo obo ino college. Okubao. Two kitizivwa. And of course one of them is licensing from Bank of Uganda. As an agent banker. Not just as a bank. As a banker. So katie ya sinzi dao na agama nte chisoka agent DTB Uganda te aina that license to operate as an agent banker. Choku bidi. DTB Kenya was not licensed to operate in Uganda. In Uganda. In Uganda. Mm. Since the Financial Institutions Act, the agent banking mm. regulations. regulations. Uh -huh. So that is an agent or agent banking. Of course, a bank cannot be an agent. Because that would be a good thing. We have to say that we have to DTB Uganda was in fact an agent, but not an agent mm. banker. Hmm? Was an agent, agent. yari agent, uh -huh. naenga ati si agent, agent banker. Mm. Yeah. In the terms of the agent banking regulations, ula wa nama teka umuntu wa uzimu wa. Tu sinzi da kuhunyula. Tu sinzi da kuhunyula. Tu sinzi da kuhunyula. So sima wa watch the gedecha agent banking in the financial yeah. institution. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, what is she, uh, because we have to play a good Sala wa yomu la mzuwe chitiwa atenye. Ngabu obinyo nyonde ya lina issues of legality. Dati, ati tuwala bienge no mguni, mkote nsuku mba chukuba. Hmm. Chii. Ok. Kati, 
Bova or gains them court. Bova, which I write a cause of action. Cause of action, Bova, which in your demuganda means of gamba, and song a crutem court. Cati many of you have seen that it's all over and to a gamba, but all over by yay. Nay, lawyers are also bound to work at soul again, and to go on the young people in a number come to the court because I have a cause of action. There must have been uh, my, my right not to be slapped. Mm? That is violated. So, cause of action mm. with Jira, which you are in entitlement mm? to something. Yeah. And then, you to go to the court now violating that entitlement. Although, you to cheat a right. Mm. You had a right, you to go to the court, you are violating. Mm. So, that is the cause of action. Yeah. Katimu ham DTB, baso kane wage na mkoti, nga anti. Twaina, uh, of course, ordinary the banker we were transacting any customer, babi da ne uh, certain duties. Is this so kazi veda statutory? Statute nga wena gambi ya teka. So statutory duty eveva mu, mu mateka, aga, aga governing whatever entities is at hand. Hmm? Then aina fiduciary duty the bank. Yeah. Fiduciary duty is not just specific to banks, it applies in many cases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know maybe Chayagala or Kumute Geza. Cutting the Ngaroya, when Banyina in a certain position, or Kumanya, even to knock together, even to Yavia at a sober Kutegate or Kumanya, Nemua piece of advice, Jata yeah. Mudako. I had a duty in that sort of arrangement, or Kumugamba, H into H two, and if I have a conflict of interest, Nayom Banyino Jimugamba. Ganyino kubeda owa mazima, so to speak. Chechecho ise fiduciary. Fiduciary duty. Nemuru umuru footy food. Maja mwukale umuru umuru wafe. Chechecho. Kwa 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 so in a way, yeah. ali mumi kono jo, buagene da kuche chini na bwa mbuzivo, ya bade tajja kumanya nti tajja kola chiku bwa mbuzivo, ne inga gwe, wabado ino kubango chimani. Mm. So that is a fiduciary duty. Uh, duty. Katu within a bank and a customer, hmm? nti customer ne bank, bank e ina amagezi, customer ga inzo utabana go. So wewe muwa uh, amagezi, nti kola chini wabako kola chini. Nemu wa magazine ge chimani nti bwabaga gobele de kagi na musu musu la mu mu katia waga then ebe breaching the that fiduciary duty watch the gate so to to what the statutory duty to ina fiduciary duty then what work contractual duty kat contractual duty ye singo wangu nti to ina tega la gani la gani to waji sai ninga wa ina biyo ino kola to rikose watch the gate. So what to cause you why not call a mudaga neyo of all breaching that contractual duty, of obligation. Watch it again. So that was the cause of action we were so come court. And the DTB had breached the contractual, the fiduciary, and the statutory duties. Watch it over. Now ye Baba Badi Mukoti ba balo yaba ham nevongeda ko another cause of action. Which, which is illegality. Illegality. Kati illegality we mm. and uh, the, the the addition of illegality afterwards was yabadeng kuru nyomu kusala upa court of appeal. Watch that one. Wakati ya umuva mugenza mu technicalities o mukuri juu ya juu ya wada yogi na agamba ati umsango hamu goya dozinze sudiru ya wangu langa. Watch that one because of technicalities. So mumateka waba wo. Ebi, bintu bia tu inogobe dida, wamu na matika bia inogobe dida ngatwa lomu sangu mukoti. 
nti wobo otwala omusango ina ku filing ga chino ina ku filing nambu de we nti we bitio nzeze technicalities technicalities mm -hmm. over procedural law so ne, in, ne, uh, in the, same, the, the same supreme court nega mambo there, there was no law brought to this court's attention that forbids foreign financial institutions from extending credit facilities yeah, to any financial institution or person in Uganda. Yes, yet, yet, to all of our uh, central bank from Kenya, Wandi Kawanonti, the Wanga for DTB looks okay. transacting a Katini, <coughs> okutegira that decision, uvoi mm. nukutegira, one, juki la nawa gami yonti omkulu, uh, oweshi wa mna mzadonyo ya sinzi la kuchi, kumateka wili. Well, and the others, na ye principal gari yabu. Mm. The Financial Institutions Act na Agent Banking Regulations. Mm. Kati uh, bank, I mean uh, Supreme Court, <coughs> yawa de, uh, for, uh, for it to decide that the transaction was legal. Mm. Ya koze la kantu wa kanyumi, ya genze ne negating applicability ya Financial Institutions Act. Ya genze ne negating applicability ya Financial Institutions Act. Ne agent banking regulations. So, yote ya gambi, first and foremost, uh, ya sinzi de kuuntegira ye bigambo vya financial institution, financial institutions business. Okujao, Financial Institutions Act. Nti, oli ya gamba, nti, dinetaka li apply inga kutransaction yeno. Koti yansukuru mune gamba, te li apply inga. Why? Kubanga, etisoka, the financial institution under that act has to be licensed by Bank of Uganda. DTB Kenya was not. Second, it must be conducting financial institutions business so kati ekibuzo ne kijja nti DTB Kenya boya wa sente uh, harm through DTB Uganda mm -hmm. was that a financial institutions business transaction that required a license from BOU that was a question that was raised court mm -hmm. ne gamba nti financial institutions business of course what no uh, that act under section 3 kawaira ko kusatu Mani tete badia katunuli dana, tete kali dia. Tuba angule. Eh, botu nuli dana kwa ida kwa, oku extending credit facilities on bach bachita extend lending or extending credit facilities on chigambeto nchini ida. But it's it's saying that bobo holding the deposit and. Off of those deposits, you can see the bank will operate in our customer, but what are you saying? Yeah, until today is or today is so basing on those deposits held, no are you saying? No, the wallah or monto that constitutes financial institutions business. So, I know it's funds is that, but there is there are many other transactions as well, which much theater, but. That constitutes that kind of business. So, the key words there are credit facility and another very key word, uh, holding a deposit. So, DTB uh, Kenya mm. does not hold deposits of uh, in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Watch it again. It does not transact in that way in Uganda, ah. but it did issue a credit facility. facility. Mm. So, that introduction of uh, credit facility off of uh, uh, deposit, uh, held deposits, mm. right? That introduction means that Bobo Wadeo Sente, uh, from any other source uh, or any other money that is not uh, a customer held uh, deposit of sorts, mm. then that is not a financial institution's business. Koti Esukurumu Weyagambi, Chowola Avantua, Eda Chemaya Avantua Mbaja Chiwakanya Vaja, Neyeze Ndiwa no sinatu kakuba wa opinion ya. So I'm still saying what the Supreme Court said. So DTB Kenya. So DTB Kenya. Na Fukaligo. So DTB Kenya is a foreign bank. For a foreign bank to conduct financial institutions business, 
in Uganda it would but we are in a deposit eh, customer taina, deposit taina, but of course mm. uh jukidant financial institutions business requires that element taking deposits so we have a foreign bank to conduct financial institutions business but we a foreign bank to do what every commercial bank does, does. in its ordinary operation of business watch it again okay. so Organt DTB Kenya was not transacting, uh, was not doing the financial institution's business, is to say that when it issued that credit, mm. it did not take the money off of held deposits. Yeah? Whatever. Yeah. Because it wasn't already, uh, uh, so, so it, it, it <coughs> put that transaction in a different category. So when you remove the element of financial institution's business, mm. right? you've removed the applicability of the Financial Institutions Act to that particular transaction. Because the transaction was only on extending the credit facility, and of course, uh, uh, so that is also financial institutions business, right? So, Okubanti Yavade take all a financial institution's business, that means that when it extended the credit facility, mm -hmm. it was a different kind of arrangement. business arrangement, mm -hmm. which the Supreme Court called the syndicate loan mm -hmm. arrangement. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can argue whether it was correct for the Supreme Court to say it's a syndicate loan facility. I don't know of any law that prohibits or, uh, uh, that kind of transaction. Mm. He's not talking about the financial institutions mm. business. He's talking about the syndicate loan facility. So, what is a syndicate loan, loan facility? facility. Mm. Kati, I think singa kubeda munsi ezikula kudanya. But you know, lila kati singa ezili mu Europe, right? Pulaya. Europe. Pulaya. Yeah. Yeah. Over mu America. Iro japuta ni kila kagambo syndicated, over syndicated. Kategeza. Kati. Mu ni zoka ni nyola ordinary. Zendo waza. We mbogeza kwa syndicated inti. Zengu ataka nyini jako. Tu. Tu merengo nu. Tu mukola kwa coding. Nti ntera chila ba. Like in every man's language. To be able to use a new matter to go for syndicate to syndicating an hour, but I got only to move and one album again. That lady won't see the world to have a whole back with Lisa. But now, for Sikari can cheat a way, it's a clear understanding. Cutty, yeah, cutting in a syndicated loan agreement or you're a song of business. Nga weta ga aka umbika dola as a as a loan facility. Nga zo weta ga. Nga inga amazu maa katu nda teli bank agenda kuwa ka umbika dola. One, inzo kubate weza capital kuwa sentezo. The choku bidi, the risk is too high. Okuwa one lender that kind of money. Watch it again. So what they do, osobolo gende wa mu bank, na uwa gamba neta ga aka umbika dola. Kati yo bank, Neku neku kaka inzo kuga of course syndicated loans is one different types. Ne chwa ba ge no kuga nti tu sabolo kuwa kumbi akona ye tu kuwa tagana ne bank endala ne tu sharing la that loan credit facility. Nti ogenze wadi tibi na agambo keka ni demu DFCU stand big. Now it is actually DTB not you the borrower again the money of bank ne no nya co lenders watch the gear. So those co-lenders mm. form the syndicate. Oh. Watch the mm. So it's a syndicated loan. Kuvanga kawumbi kadola kavudemwezo banks zona awamu. And in most cases, your bank jogenze mu the right arranger or the agent bank, mm. which is in this case DTB Uganda. Although chi nengeri ya shukam ya chiba nyuyula. The agent bank is the one that deals with the borrower. Watch that. Neshu, nevera shu and sentesa wa kurubali zikoma wao. Nti yomkuru ono business zizi tambla that sort of thing. Nzeboro wa nzikire ziwa kutunua kumu. Chi agent banka cha kuzeni the the two syndicate banks. The two zikose as a borrower. As a borrower, you're not necessarily entitled to it. 
Mm -hmm. Watcha, yeah. but your, uh, your, your agreement <coughs> is with, with one bank. The, the, the mother bank yes. who was also yeah. gained. You don't actually have any transaction with the other banks. The other two parties? The other parties, no. S sort out their matters, uh -huh. then on now uh -huh. on uh -huh. receiving uh -huh. your money. But you go in after, you have to go to the account. Era bobo bumba njia kawumbi oja genda wetu oja genda wa DFCU mm. ogenda wa DTB mm. so that is a syndicate loan na inge tisingo zireta mm. tisente zive la zawa gulu nyo niti banks don't want to in, uh, undertake that risk alone mm. so kati how does this harm DTB arrangement uh, become a syndicate loan Kati ya wajo yingi ni lava ni wajia kugamba Walu wakala that extra judicial thing Walu wakala ni wakali Because ordinarily If the harm DTB arrangement was to be taken as a syndicate arrangement DTB Uganda Yali wade ekorechi Ete kawo sente zayo That's one DTB Uganda should have been approaching DTB Kenya As the so DTB Uganda would be the arranger, mm. the mother bank. But then in this case, uh, the reason why, in my opinion, Katino Ndowoza Yang, mm. the reason why, in my opinion, <coughs> it was uh, the Supreme Court extended the meaning of a syndicate loan. The reason I stated extended is because under ordinary arrangements, to in a go Gambi and T, is this a syndicated loan now? Kugamba, it is. Mm. But normal arrangements, it's not really set up like that as such. Now, you look at it's a, sup a Supreme Court decision. Yeah, yeah, but fine. To in a while, I will end again. But you will say, sell away. Which means it has become, it is, it is now law mm. that an arrangement such as Ham DTB falls under syndicate loan ag uh, arrangement. But <coughs> The fact that uh, the agreement was between HAM and DTB Kenya, and then DTB Kenya simply appointed an agent, mm. uh, it wasn't looking for someone to help it with the financing the loan in the sense of Katuteke. It was not now what it is. Uh, DTB uh, Kenya was going to facilitate that whole loan on its own. Mm. Which, uh, mm. It simply appointed DTB Uganda as an agent of which some transactions. Uganda. So, when we are in Uganda, we are going to be able to get influences as a Kurumye, Kubiyama take up your car. Watch it up. I was Jaco. 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 Chitawanya mu, no mundoza yo mundu. Oku, oku negating a financial institutions act. Mm. Watch it over. Oku government that act does not apply to a transaction of lending money. Mm. It is a troubling uh, finding. Mm. Then trying to fit the harm DTB arrangement and a syndicate sort of uh, mm. type mm. of loan. Nyinga te ordinary lift. That's a syndicate loan ag agreement. Mm. So, if you have a lot of people who are So, that is the same reason he's saying it is not illegal. Mm. But, the is the fact that he's not saying that it is legal mm. under the Financial Institutions Act. Right? Because he's just saying that the Financial Institutions Act does not apply. Uh, and then he get he goes outside. Those statutory laws and then we use common law. But in commercial uh, or business cases, they use commercial practices. And it is not unheard of syndicated loans mm -hmm. it. and and you actually don't need the license okay to 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 uh, to, to conduct that thing that syndicate, uh, that syndicate. Mm -hmm. as long as omuntu akuwa sente dtb uganda money yeah i know i know authority operating in that capacity you were again in kenya and again the one in south africa against the us yeah. it doesn't matter and those banks don't need a license to issue the loan to harm, they wouldn't need it. Mm -hmm. But that is under a syndicate arrangement. That is why they had to 
change the category of that transaction. Because if that category, a, a, a transaction is never did say under the, fi the, the Financial Institutions Act, it would have been illegal. Mm. That is why Adonio found that it was. Mm. Because the law stated that it was. Mm. Watch that. Mm. Uh, but these people uh, had to negate when Nakugami like, they negated. Nakagambo negate sika kadire mwa abatura. Nakagambo negate sika zivunyo umanya negative. No. Chechitegeza to subtract. So negate. Yeah. We 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 to kaja. In Sarawi Supreme Court eguro. What uh, precedent does it uh, take on uh, Ugandan businesses, no, no dealing any other financial institutions outside Uganda? Um, I think what you know, just to jump judgment, your 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 sabalams. I think we a clip came on because and he read a, a portion of it. Mm. That is the the the. the the clarity it was seeking to put in place. So by rendering that transaction illegal, also be the bank may come to Uganda, hmm? as it is locally owned. Hmm? Most banks, most big and successful banks, mm. are foreign owned banks, banks, are foreign owned. Mm. Which means that every now and then, such a transaction likely happens, and many of them exist. So if Adonio's decision had stood, mm. all those transactions were well, well, illegal. illegal, which means that <coughs> banks are now going to be her. Because once a bank is told something is illegal, they are going to is an illegal transaction. We don't enforce illegal transactions. When Adonio decided that the issue was illegal, that that transaction was illegal. Maybe mm. they contractual duty in which they are Which is why there were some decisions, some explanations in the Court of Appeal decision in the Supreme Court. There were some other factors. Mm. Because once a court decides that something is illegal, which is what uh, his lordship had done did. Uh, now, what would that mean for foreign banks opening branches in Uganda? Watch that. Mm. If yes. such transactions are illegal. Mm. Or was a uh, call your banks? Call your banks. Is it Uganda. foreign? Is it foreign? Of which most of them are. Mm. So, when you go back to the Supreme Court in Egamba, this transaction is illegal. Mm. That is why they fought. They really fought to say that it was illegal. Transaction because yeah. the implications are very, very far reaching. Mm. You're nullifying so many transactions. So, the precedent it sets mm. is that banks can conduct that sort of transaction where you go to a bank, mm. ask for a loan, mm. and then if that bank does not have the ability the, to the facilitate deposits. that loan, the deposit, mm. it can reach out to other <coughs> banks without those banks getting a license. Mm. Which against them, DTB Uganda. Taina sent to disappear. Na ye na yo bank se dala mo so wala college. Okudia sent to kuzikuwa. Is it foreign? Kuzikuwa. Kati ziba so wala chikola. So in this case, the saga of faulting just adonyo. Neither to fault the Supreme Court ruling that was yesterday. Like my question is, uh, do we see the law fighting itself? Just because they want to accommodate that uh, foreign banking down here in Uganda. Then, although I was calling Agam Banti, the law does not operate in a vacuum. I'm not taking a gap for them. Changa. Hey, gap what I So if the law, in that chichewa, kari bobo gena mu statutory interpretation kuba ma court ga ino ku gamanti dino ya teka ya tuli okolela ko so by na what they call canons of interpretation mm. one of them leads them to conclude that when tuno dide teka nga mm. chiringamba bagamba it would lead to an absurdity nti when they applying nga when they take day to gain up for an outcome nga mutufte ko la makuru mm. chiba chitegeza Parliament, a quality carino, 
Sichi ali ba dekolaji. E yadala. Sichi ali etegezo kola. So we have to find the meaning that does not result in an absurdity. Okay. So in most cases, uh, these things really come into play in those Court of Appeal Supreme Court. Because those courts handle a lot, a lot of cases, especially with constitutional uh, petitions. Mm. So they naeka tiba na court is all one C. They focus more on this is the law, this is what it tells me. But in most cases they will look at this is the law, this is what it tells me. Watch it over. So Ogandi, the law is fighting itself. Uh, it take it really rigid. It is going to be there. We should have a way to amendment. Mm. So if a new situation arises, mm. that situation has to be taken into consideration. Mm. And in most cases, the parliamentarians they are going to have to look at they are amending. Mm. So the courts will often, where necessary, give a broad and flexible interpretation mm. so yeah. that we don't have to go back to our mind, but the law can still operate mm. and validate certain things. So it's not uh, necessarily a law fighting itself. The law does not fight itself, but it is a matter of certain extra influences fighting themselves. Then, <laughs> then uh, Kucha Supreme Court oku sindika ham ate adeyo uh, <coughs> Mokoti, high court mm, high court mm. does this give a little bit of leverage uh, ham might reclaim himself somewhere mm. in, in your legal perspective as a law scholar kati uh juki that what government what was certain causes of action kati kote shukuru mshaya koza ya gambi to the issue or the cause of action, but the issue of oh, illegality, illegality, we have dealt with it. Mm. Watch that. So, we're not the only court. It's not a cause of action uh, now. So, remember that Ham still had the other causes and they were never uh, decided upon by the court. You are courting, you can stay a man and law in argument if it's illegal. Again, a chicken yoga or wave. A visa data with Nulam. But now that the transaction is legal, mm. A vessel will gain a net nulida, okay. Why in a contract did they breach? There was a fiduciary duty, was it breached? They can also have other causes of action. So, remission of a case at each single Kuyamba is that what uh, principle take up a kaita rest judicata. Rest judicata. In Chomsango, we go back to Sali Duao, eh? At it of Guzam court. Watch it over. So, Mutomi Aligami and Tabuno, Mani Baloya to Tebagua, you have my own Kudam court, but in Nevagamba, no, but my lord, the matter has been dealt with. Or my into court in Kurunes, Ensnes, or Kurum, Naya Sarao, you know, make it when it's remitted. Now you go back to the original causes of action. No government, okay, try national, try national, try national, let's argue them. So, Abacha, so all of Quedua Nako. Uh, of course, if the lawyers saw it fit to leave those causes of action and introduce this one, it means that Ham has lost his best defense. Watch it again. So, when you get a young young to Gambanti, and so may Ham take a holding a merit. No. But so what I told you, the court has to decide. The otherwise. court has to decide that mm. one. Kuba, Jukida. So we too many, we too so many. So we are more more even trying to solve our problems. We are not only dividing the people, we are reporting them. First of all, of course, we are going to have those reads, the views. So they will create headlines. They will report in a certain way. Now, if you are going to be able to, I want objective uh, uh, reporting, and I can only get that in the case. When we are going to be able to solve our problems, we are going to DTB ya Jacobe na na echa yuko na e court boe tu la nega anti chino tu tu li de chino tu tu li de I can take that as objective so kati si sawa la ganti it is without merit kuwa id ziri nchini songe la tatu na zuri lida tatu maingi chiziri mu na e chenga mbani baloya e baz tu nula mne baga mbani na e tu ina this other issue je tu sawa la kuangu lida kwa te chete gezani ziri zali na funyo it just meant that they saw an easy way and they decided to take that. 
so they might have to go back and take the hard way. But however, his chances are? They, they probably reduced. Minimum. Mm, not minimum. Uh, they, they have reduced. Just reduced. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, when they take your fake or harm and DTB Diamond Trust Bank, uh, Ken, mm. where uh, also made our take again? I'm going to take a cause to reach. Twina quarter and a so I'm in between. Mm. Yeah. So I'm in between. Oh, oh. Yes, oh, yeah, but Ken Ndaula or Kenneth Ndaula, a uh, law scholar at what day his personal view and uh, some legal aspect or into the matter at hand, a day, a harm and Diamond Trust Bank. Until next time, bye bye. Thank you.